Shohei Otani. He's the man of the hour. Uh, last night, while the New York Jets were beating the New England Patriots, down in Miami, the Dodgers were pummeling the Miami Marlins. In fact, the Dodgers won the game 20-3. to But the big story is, is Shohei Otani is now the charter member of the 50-50 club in Major League Baseball. Never thought I would see anybody in my lifetime in Major League Baseball achieve the feat of 50 home runs and 50 stolen bases in a season. I mean, sure, I've seen, you know, 40-40. In fact, <laughs> just a few weeks ago, o Otani became a member of the 40-40 club, joining Jose Canseco, who did it in 1988, Barry Bonds, who did it in 1996, a-Rod, 1998. Uh, Alfonso Soriano, 2006, while he was with the Nationals. And then the most recent one being Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Braves in 2023. So let's break down Otani's night. I mean, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't have done it in better style, having probably one of the best games ever in baseball history. I mean, he goes, and this is from Major League Baseball, he goes six for six, two doubles, three home runs, a single, 10 RBIs, two stolen bases, and 17 total bases. That, my friends, is just totally insane. Now, keep in mind, He's recovering from Tommy John surgery that he had last year. He hasn't pitched an inning this year. In fact, he won't be on the mound until next year. So I think he had, he had the idea that, you know what? I'm DHing. I'm playing every day. I got a shot at. I got a shot to make some history here, so I'm just going to take advantage of it and do it. And he did. <clears throat> this was the first three home run game in Major League Baseball history where the player also had multiple stolen bases. Otani was also the first player since at least 1901 with at least five hits, multiple homers, and multiple stolen bases. That one was true even before he hit his third home run. Um... He's the first player with at least five extra base hits and multiple stolen bases in a game since at least 1901. And again, he didn't just have any of these groundbreaking lines. He did it to reach 50-50. Oh, and by the way, the Dodgers are in the postseason now. They clinched a postseason berth last night. <clears throat> Only one Major League Baseball player has had any games in a career with individually at least 10 RBIs. Six hits, five extra base hits, three home runs, and two stolen bases. <clears throat> that means putting up any of those discrete stats in a game, not necessarily all at once. Otani is the only player to do this since RBIs became an official stat in 1920. Oh, and he checked off every box. Otani knocked in 10 runs. It's the 16th 10 RBI game since RBIs became official again in 1920. And the first at the hands of a Dodger, as well as the first from the leadoff spot. Yeah, he's DHing and batting leadoff. The previous 15 players to do so combined for zero stolen bases in those games. Otani had two. He would have had, I think he would have had three, but I think he got thrown out trying to steal third. Or maybe it was he tried to stretch a double into triple and got thrown out a third. You guys can correct me in the chat if you watched the game last night. He ended the day with 17 total bases, tied for fourth most in the game since 1901. It's the seventh time a batter had had at least 17. Before Otani, the most total bases by a player in a game who, had, who also had multiple stolen bases was 11 by Kirk Gibson in 1995 and somebody by the name of Bracco Roth in 1919. Uh, this game, like I said before, clinched the playoff berth for the Dodgers. He also, last night, became the Dodgers' all-time single-season home run leader. 
passing Sean Green, who had 49 home runs in 2001. Now Otani's got 51. It's his fourth game this year with at least a home run and multiple stolen bases, tying Eric Davis in 1987 for the second most in the season since 1900. Behind only Ricky Henderson's five in 1986. It was also his 13th game with at least one of each, tying Henderson for the most in a season. <clears throat> Before last night, Thursday, no Major League Baseball player had ever had multiple home runs and multiple stolen bases in a game since Mookie Betts in 2020. Ian Otani, the only Dodgers to do this since at least 1901. I mean, this is just otherworldly, folks. And again, considering the fact... Excuse me there. Considering the fact that, you know, he also pitches. Even though he hasn't pitched this year. I mean, it's... <clears throat> Entirely possible that come next season, I mean, he's a shoe in for the MVP this season, but come next season, it's entirely possible he could win the Cy Young and the MVP, which is something other pitchers have done in the past. But I don't think anybody's done it as a two way player in Major League Baseball. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. So there you have it. Just a little bit of what Shohei Otani accomplished last night besides setting Major League Baseball history, become, be, becoming the first player in the now 50-50 club of MLB. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. You think he's probably one of the best players of all time? I mean, based on this, you'd have to almost say guaranteed top 10, maybe a lock for top five. Um, best ever that remains to be seen history is not yet fully written on Shohei Otani's career could he end up being the best of all time when it's all said and done it's entirely possible <laughs> so comment down below share your thoughts um, while you're at it please take the time to give me a thumbs up smash that like button if you like the things that I'm covering it's the best way to help out the channel with the YouTube algorithm by showing, showing YouTube that hey we like what he's doing uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I hope everybody has a great Friday, and I will see you guys later.